Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a column chart that has actuals versus target markers or basically uh, target markers that are represented by a dash. So in this example we have our column chart which is our actual values uh, and our dashes, our dash markers which are our targets. In this case it's actually fairly easy to create this. All we need is our actual column, our target column, and a set of values here and basically these are two charts. One is a column chart and the other is a line chart. So let me show you how this is created. Now we're in another sheet and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column chart first. So I can click anywhere within the table and go under the insert tab and just click on a 2D column chart. And basically this is just a column chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the actual column but I'm going to change the a target column into a line chart. So I'm going to click on that and then right click and then I'm going to go change series type. And it's going to come out with a window. Uh, this is Excel 2013 so this is a little bit of a different window but basically if you have previous versions of Excel you can also do this. The windows are different. And what we want to do is change the series name uh, on my target. I want to change that to a line chart. I'm going to change it to a line chart. Uh, and basically a line chart with markers. Actually, I should have chose this one. This is the line with markers. So I have these markers here right now. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that I have my markers here. And what I need to do is I need to, I need to format this now. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on the line, right click, and go to Format Data Series. And a Format Data Series uh, pane comes up. And what I want to do here is change some of the marker settings. So I'm going to go to Marker and uh, go to the marker options. Let me go ahead and close that. Go to the marker options and I'm going to choose the built-in one and I'm going to choose uh, the dash. And now you, you might not see the dash too much. I'm going to go ahead and just increase it a little bit more. Maybe we can see it a little bit more now. Let me click outside of it. You can see it a little bit more now. So um, this is probably something that is probably an appropriate size. Let me click back in there. And what I want to do now is I want to change the line. So I don't need this line anymore. I've got my markers. I do not need the line. So I'm going to go ahead and change the line color or basically indicate no line. And I just have my markers there now. And so pretty much that completes it. So that pretty much does it. And the rest of it, you might, you might just want to change some of the formatting. Uh, let's say I actually like the, the style, this black style, this uh, black background style. And, what, and once I click on that, you notice that my markers change. And so if I actually choose one of these pre-formatted, predefined styles, uh, and the markers change, all you need to do is just go ahead and change the marker back again. I can select on that marker, right click, and go to Format Data Series. And for my marker, I want to let me change it back to the dash instead of having those circles. Right. So the built-in is right now that circle. Let me go ahead and change it back to the dash here, and make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 12 is fine. All right. So now all I need to do is do additional formatting. I click on the grid lines and then press delete. Uh, maybe the chart title, I'm going to change it to something else. Actual versus target. Whoops, target. And basically that is my column chart that shows actuals, There's these blue columns, versus the targets. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.